Hey fam, what's up? It's me, Heaven, and I am back with another purge video. Oh yeah, this is the blush edition. Oh my god. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. I have a bunch of blush products here. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not gonna keep. <laughs> Usually when I film these, I know off rip like, yo, I'm gonna stick with these, but I don't know for sure. Let me look at all of this and see what would I definitely keep. I know for sure um, there are two blushes that I use like on a regular, regular basis. So those I will definitely be keeping. The first one is my Revlon. It is in uh, number three, Marvelicious. Oh, what it is about this color, I love this color. I love the texture of this. It's kind of a, um, it is a very uh, subtle kind of blush. I definitely use this on my everyday makeup look. Again, I don't wear makeup to work every day, but this is for sure what I would use um, for my everyday looks right here is this. So this is definitely going to be a keeper for moi, my Revlon. All right. The second one that I know for sure I'm going to keep is um, this blush by Model Co. It is in the color uh, Peach Bellini. This is my go-to blush when I go out at night because it does have a little shimmer to it. It is still, it doesn't look like it's a color that I would wear often, right? But when you put it on and then blend it out, it has such a nice sheen to it. it it's such a nice um, warmish pink color. It does have a little hint of gold in it, but it's not so much that it's overpowering. I really, really like the way it sits on my face. So this is definitely a keeper for me. Let's look at this Coastal Sense palette here, okay? Because it's the biggest one. This is a Coastal Sense uh, blush and bronzer palette, okay? Now, these are the two blushes, these are the bronzers, and this is the highlight. I'm not gonna lie, I do use these two blushes. When you swatch them, they swatch really dark, you know? Like, and I get that, but they blend out so pretty on your skin because you're not gonna fucking you're definitely not gonna put on your fucking blush or your bronzer like that you know what I'm saying that's how you put on your blush you know and they blend out really well they blend out really nice um they're colors that I definitely will use <clears throat> and I think I need more practice for them and I do think I need to practice more with my blush as far as the bronzers go I do not use these at all you can see I've swatched them I've tried to use them um, it's definitely not something that I'm interested in trying to use at all you know like they don't but you know again I can practice I could use it or whatever this is a fairly new addition I think I got it in a boxycharm a couple of months ago so I still need to I'll play some more with this or whatever but I have so much crap here that I don't actually see it so I'm going to go ahead and keep this so that I can play with it some more see if I like it whatever all right so another blush that I do catch myself grabbing from time to time that I do want to play with a little more is this blush by the bomb it's called Cabana Boy it's kind of an eyeshadow slash brush which I think it's cute it it's a little box that it comes in. I think it's adorable. The packaging is cute. It is a sample size, so that's why it's really small. Um, but the color is a really, really nice color. Okay, and it's definitely uh, something that that blends out really well. It's really cool. I kind of like the bomb products, so um, I'll definitely be keeping this one. This one from Studio Makeups. This is in the color SBB. 07 and it is the color wildflower okay I'm not a big fan of this one um the color is very pretty I like it I would love to see how it swatches um, on my skin I pick up the color here with no problem but when I go to put it on my skin like there's nothing 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 comes up nothing 
So it kind of sucks. So I really can't tell you how it is because I can't get it to work. <laughs> I don't know if it's me. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's not, it's not something that I, that I grab, that I ever reach for. It's not something that I use. I'm not a big fan of it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Another one that I know um, off rip I'm going to get rid of is this e.l.f. one. This is in the color Twinkle Pink. It has nothing to do with the formula or the quality of the blush. This has everything to do with just the color of the blush. Okay. I saw the Twinkle Pink. I said, oh, maybe this might work for me. Maybe this will be good. Um, it turned out being entirely too pink. It turned out not being any kind of blush at all maybe it'll work as a highlighter uh, I don't see the need of keeping this because I do have quite a few highlighters and it's not even all that um, blingy like I want my highlighters to be so this is definitely one that I'm going to get rid of I do have this elf palette here don't mind all the fingerprints or whatever um, this is the total face palette it doesn't have a color to it so I really, <laughs> hi guys, <laughs> you can see my whole setup with this, oh yeah, you're not going to see a picture of me though because I look like crap today, so anyway, this does come with a mirror, these are the colors that are here, okay, this was supposed to be, be like an all-in-one, two blushes, a little bronzer, and a little highlight or whatever, um, definitely not for me these colors are entirely too light for me I am NOT a fan at all of them um, the formulas for them feel good but again it's just it's too light I'm not sure what they were going for this maybe this is for more fair skins you know skin tone or whatever what I do like about these about these blush palettes that come like this um, from elf is that you can uh, pop these out switch them out and make different palettes with them I thought I had another one I guess I don't you know so you can interchange them and this is great but I'm not gonna hold on to this just because I can interchange them with with other colors I'm not a fan of this mirrored chrome because it does look dirty all the time this is just not for me I mean you know it's five bucks I tried it out didn't like it whatever move on to the next I will be getting rid of this next what do we have here uh, this NYC color wheel this is in the color of pink cheek glow okay and this was I'm not gonna lie this was my blush for years not this particular one but this was just my go-to blush for years because it was just it was easy it was simple you know that was it a nice little blush you know what I'm saying and that's it if you wanted to target it um, because it's mosaic you can target you know just the, the darker colors and get a different color you can target just the light colors get a light color you can swirl your whole brush in and get a mixture of colors I mean it always worked for me it always gave me a nice natural blush I'm on the fence about this one you know I do have a few other ones that are there I have more that I want to try is this something that I really really need now now that I found other blushes that definitely do work I don't know I'm really on the fence about this we're gonna put this down and and, and we're gonna jump to something else these three here um, that are left I'm kind of meh about really kind of iffy this is a coral cheap lip stain by um, Bella Pierre Cosmetics okay uh, this came from one of my sample boxes I don't like it at all okay number one it's a cream all right I can't really get a brush in there I gotta stick my finger in there it gets dirty and contaminated because I'm sticking my finger in there all the time and then when you put it on like it it's a cream you know so and it's a heavy it's really dense when you try to blend it in on top of your foundation it doesn't blend out well at all like it moves your foundation it's really thick I'm just I'm not a fan this is going to have to go okay the next one is um, by Trestique it's in it's a baby blush stick 
in Bora Bora Coral. The only reason why I've kept this this long is because it says it's from Bora Bora. Okay, but it is a, stop rolling away, stay still. At the end of the day though, it is a stick, you know, and it's, it's like a crayon. Okay, you guys see I haven't really used it. All right, um, and the color, the color for it is just not, it's a nice color, okay, and it blends out well. But the problem that I have for it is that because, I mean, it blends out almost to a powder, but putting it on initially, because it's a cream first, um, messes with my foundation. Again, it starts to shift my foundation and lift my foundation. Um, maybe I don't know how to put it on right. Maybe I do. I don't know. But again, it's not something that I find myself reaching for on a regular basis. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. This next one is by Beauty For Real. This is a blush and go. We've got high beam on this side and then uh, coral crush on this side. So coral crush is the color of the blush side here. Okay. Um, it's a cute color, you know, but again, when I put it on, it blends out really good. Um, but when I put it on, it, it's, it's a stick that's going over my foundation. I only use liquid foundation. I don't use whatever, whatever. Um, I don't use any powder or anything. I use liquid, but it feels like it drags the rest of my makeup around on my face, the rest of my foundation on my face. I don't like it. It could be use of error, but that's just me. The same thing with this highlight, you know, that that's the second part of it or whatever. It feels like in order to get any color to show up, I really have to drag, drag, drag. Okay. Blends out nice. Oh, I think I mixed that with the blush. Um, that's the highlighter you know it blends out nice but because of it being a stick it really just drags on my skin like it I have to tug you can see my skin moving when I try to put it on I'm tugging at it I, I don't like having to do that so huh, yeah no these gotta go I'm, I'm just I don't Ever reach for it the concept is really cute but my skill set is not at this level yet so I'm definitely going to get rid of that um, and just for the sake of purging I mean back to this one like I don't know what to do oh. for the sake of purging for purging sake I'm just gonna get rid of this one so coming back to my complete blush set we know that um everything on this end over here we are getting rid of okay i will be staying with uh just what's here again this is a whole palette so in essence i've got two five different colors i've got these two blushes here these three down here again these are my standby my go-to's um it will give me an opportunity to get more blushes in the end if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more i will go ahead and link my purge playlist um in the video here as well as um my most recent video over here so <laughs> you guys can check out what I do subscribe if you want to see more from me um, and I will catch you guys later bye